This is Greg Patterson with Arkansas Farm Bureau. And our guest today is Blair Griffin. He's a county agent in Johnson County, extension agent with the University of Arkansas's Division of Agriculture System. And he specializes in pasture weed control. And Blair, welcome. Uh, morning, Greg. Hey, we're heading into summer. And what do folks with pastures need to be paying attention to right now? Um, you know, at, at, like you said, as we head into summertime, it's really a transition in, in forages. We're getting out of winter grasses and winter weeds, and we're starting to get our summer growth, Bermuda grass, uh, late season fescue, and it's time for people to be thinking about uh, summertime weed control. Um, you know, we still get calls on buttercups because they bloomed and they're out there, and I guess they irritate people, but in reality, it's time to think about summer broadleaf control. Um, you know, a lot of people, if you talk to them about spraying right now, they all want to wait till more weeds come up. They think it's too early and they think the weeds are small and that there's going to be more weeds later in the season. And it's, it's one of the mistakes people use because um, reality, if you treat right now, you'll get excellent control more economical control because you can control small weeds with some cheaper herbicides. Um, treat early, we typically get 95 to 100% control of the weeds we're after. Um, you know, the traditional herbicides like 4D, the Grazon, Trooper PDs that have been around for 30 or 40 years still work real well. They're inexpensive. Um, they have broad spectrum control. We get control of a lot of weeds with those products. Um, so it just makes a lot of sense to treat right now. Um, you know, if you look at what I consider the, the, the big problem weeds we have in the summer, horse nettle or what a lot of people call bull nettle, woolly croton or goat weed, uh, pig weeds, and then things like ragweed and maybe perilla mint. All those weeds are out in the pastures right now. Um, so it's a good time to treat. Um, one of the problems we run into producers is, is especially this year, is, is rainfall. You know, we have rainfall in the forecast, so they don't want to treat because they worry about, um, you know, washing off the, the herbicides. But what we've seen is if a herbicide will dry on the, on the weeds, so maybe a two hour window, four hour max, we still get excellent control. And, you know, I, I, when I consider excellent control, I figure that 95 to 100 percent control is what we're looking at. So you know, I don't use rainfall as, as an excuse to treat. Um, like you said, I work with, with new agents around the state. We do a lot of testing and, you know, you travel across the state, put out a test and they're calling for rain. You know, a lot of times we just say, look, we're going to put the test out anyway and see what the results are. And, and nine times out of 10, we get excellent control even though uh, rain is in the forecast or it ends up raining. Um, you know, in talking to producers, one of the things they do say is, well, I did what you said and it didn't work. Um, probably the first thing with that is, is improper ID, proper identification of the weeds, extremely important. You know, the, what they call goat weed in Lawrence County may not be what we call goat weed in Johnson County. So when you're working with the county agents and the producers and they say, I got goat weed and I'm thinking Willie Croton, it may be something different. And I want to put in a plug uh, for the, our uh, pasture weed control publication. It's a uh, pasture weed control in Arkansas. It is a for sale publication. It's about $5. You can order it at your extension office, but it does an excellent job of, uh, of explaining what weeds um, we have in Arkansas color pictures, um, how to control it, and when to spray. And so, you know, I said identification's a key, timing is a key. Um, like I said, most weeds you treat when they're small, but um, spraying at the right time is crucial in getting good control. And then one last thing, you know, we talked about working with agents in the last four years, we put out about 75 broadleaf weed control demos in pastures and about 45 grass weed control pa uh, demonstrations in pasture. So we've got a lot of agents out there doing um, a lot of demonstrations so that we can compile good information. He's Blair Griffin with the University of Arkansas's 
Extension Service. And Blair, thank you so much for that reminder to our producers to get out there right now. We've got good weather coming up, no excuses, and get those <laughs> pasture weeds under control. Thank you, sir.